Oh boy. <clears throat> You've seen the title. Page has got suspended again. This is according to NoDQ.com. Um, I'm going to get my opinion in a second. WWE has suspended Paige for 60 days immediately for her second violation of the company's talent wellness policy. As previously noted, Paige has been out of action with a neck injury and will possibly need surgery. Paige responded to the suspension on Twitter. She wrote, and I quote, Same shit, different day, kids. Please don't get prescriptions or doctor's notes. Not acceptable. Rules apply depending on your status. Um, so, apparently, she's taken certain medication. She ne she got a doctor's note for it. Stuff like that. Then when she went into to WWE and handed them the note for the actual, uh, whatever substance this is, WWE won't accept it. So... To me, and I've seen this with the Eva Marie thing, Del Rio stated, right, that he, it was something, a substance that he didn't get from a doctor's note. I'm trying to remember, actually. Pages along the same lines, and Eva Marie forgot the paperwork, and WWE still suspended her. We're seeing a little bit of a habit right now. What is actually going on? This isn't the first time this has actually happened. Now, they don't really enforce it in the past. The only time they enforced it was with Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes had to take something for medical reasons. Um, I think it was like a, a pill prescription or something like that there. And WWE were actually going to suspend him. It wasn't until the last minute where Cody Rhodes got proper documentation for it, then they didn't actually suspend him. Um, I remember that um, this was like a f years and years ago. It looks like WWE are being more heavy-handed with this now, where you need the right documentation. Even a doctor's note right now won't be acceptable. And, you know, I don't know whether WWE's being more stricter because of what happened with the Brock Lesnar thing in UFC. Because, to me, they didn't really do this even before this Paige Del Rio, Eva Marie. You remember the whole suspensions that happened this year? Before that, they never really did it that much. It wasn't until... Brock Lesnar got caught with steroids, right? Or um, blockers, ad bl um, the blockers, you know, for that kind of stuff. The substance abuse, okay? The Brock Lesnar did, right? And apparently it wasn't under USADA regulations and stuff like that, okay? As soon as that story came out, WWE started getting really strict on its um, talent. Um, it, it's, it's talent, essentially. And to Paige, to me... Um, I feel that she's being maybe a bit of a victim involved in this. Now, she, I, we don't know what medication she's under, alright? For all I know, she could be smoking the wacky tobacco and thinking that it could be a doctor's note, right? We don't know, okay? Paige hasn't said what the substance is. And probably, you know, it's probably best if she doesn't because, you know, you know, whatever. Um, but in saying that, guys, like, it's just really weird. Like, this wellness policy, it looks like it's been a little bit more stricter to me personally. Like I said, guys, Paige is suspended for 60 days. Basically two months. She's gone. Um, so, effective immediately. So, she will not be back till... My birthday. She'll actually not be back until my birthday, which is um, December. December, well, I think like a day before, like December 11th or 10th. Yeah, December 10th or 11th, just around about my birthday is when she's going to come back. So probably Christmas, actually. And um, to me, it's just it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. This is just completely mental. Like, she got suspended. And the worst thing is, I, this is her second violation, right? If she feels another one, she's fired. Now, I might have a theory towards this. Now, I have another theory. Is she doing this deliberately? Now, Paige, her contract is that she, the only way for her to get out of her contract is to be fired. Alright? Could she be doing this deliberately to get out of a WWE contract? Who knows? What I will say is this. Is that Paige wanted to stay in WWE. It might look like she's trying to quit. She's trying to quit WWE. I don't know. Like I said, guys, this is such a weird fucking story because 
you know, it's not, she's not like, by the looks of it, she's not doing the drugs, alright? It's just there's a medication that she might need, and it doesn't, you have to have a certain documentation to provide for that. So it's a very weird story. Like I said, guys, I'll try and get to the bottom of it in the next few days. Um, wouldn't be surprised if Paige is on their last legs right now. So Paige, at this point in time, she cannot feel another one. If she comes back in the next 60 days, right, in December, all right? If she comes back in December, right? If she comes back, okay, and she's caught again, or she doesn't have a ladder, or a doctor's note, or whatever it is, She's fired. She's fired. And also, this will probably... Have, like, listen. I know a lot of people say, well, this is going to affect her push, blah, blah, blah. Listen, everyone gets in trouble. Jack Swagger got in trouble. Randy Orton got in trouble. You know, a lot of people don't remember that. But Randy Orton was in big, big problems. You know, same as a lot of these other wrestlers. And then they eventually became world champions. Roman Reigns, people have pretty much forgotten about it already. You know, I understand that there's, there's you know... There's certain stars that might do things, blah, 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 blah. But it doesn't affect her push all in all. Um, what Paige needs to do is, A, get, uh, hopefully she gets her neck fixed. Maybe, I think it's the medication maybe for her neck surgery. Maybe it's that, essentially. Maybe it's that. And WWE, for whatever reason, that certain substance isn't allowed on their list. Guys, I've probably talked a little bit too much here, but... I wanted to give you guys all the details as I can. As it stands right now, PH has been suspended for 60 days. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out.